Welcome to this tutorial about setting up Octo Everywhere for RatOS, Clipper and Pi. You'll need a couple of things. You'll need an Octo Everywhere account. You'll also need some SSH software. In this case, I use Putty. And you'll also need the Mobile Raker app, which is available on Android and iOS, or can be downloaded from its source on GitHub. All the links will be in the description. So to start, you'll need to sign up for a Octo Everywhere account. So create an account as you would with anything else, email, password, etc. In this case, I'm just creating a test account because this is a second run after previously and successfully setting it up on my rat rig with a Raspberry Pi. In this case, I'm using some small sensor bars over information. So once you've created your account, which is quite quick, you can add a printer. In this case, you'll pick Clipper main sale, etc. And it'll give you a small bit of code and in the instructions of simply SSH in. So in this case, I'm using the software called Putty, recommended to me by a friend, and I'm going to download the 64-bit installer. Once it's been installed, uh, it'll show up in your start menu. It won't create a desktop icon, but open Putty. Once that has opened, this is the hardest step in my opinion. You're going to need to know the IP address for your 3D printer or the Raspberry Pi on the 3D printer. In my case, I've got a phone app which for my internet, which tells me what it is, but you might need to go into your router. Uh, in this case, once I've typed it in and clicked open, it opens the dialog window immediately, but for you, it'll bring up a window saying, would you like to continue for a security risk? Uh, click continue. Once you've pressed open, this window will open. The login will be Pi, then press enter. The password will be Raspberry. It won't look like it's typing anything, but it is, and then press enter. Um, and then this is where you type in this short line of code. In my case, something went wrong the first time round. I'm not sure what it was. It's probably that I typed, typed it in wrong or something went awry with the system. So you'll see it will run through the process and then it will get stuck in a loop where it's asking for a connection which doesn't connect and I end up pressing yes a couple of times. That doesn't work. I eventually cancel it, press no and go through it again. In this case, I have greatly sped up the footage, I think 16 times speed. Here you can see where it's asking to connect and it doesn't work. In the end, I give up, retype the line of code again. And once I did that, it worked successfully. And now that it was successful this time, it will ask you, would you like to connect to an account? Press yes, or press Y, press enter. And then it'll give you a link to a website, which you can copy and paste, control C to copy it. It'll bring up some more stuff, but that's not necessary. And then you can paste that into your web browser. And it will then ask you for a code. Go back to Putty and it will have the code, the six digit code there. So type that code in to the web browser submit code and you can name your printer. Um, in this case, I make a slight mistake, have to put a hyphen in. But once you finish set up, it'll go through a quick process of showing you the features, which you can skip through because you can have a look at those later. And it'll do this funny countdown which I don't know, made, made me a bit nervous first time I went through it. And it's just telling you about their premium subscription model. And then once you've done, you can connect. And this is just sped up ever so slightly. So this is actually connecting to the RatOS dashboard through Octo Anywhere. But I'll now show you how to set it up on your mobile phones. I already have the mobile Raker app installed. Um, my phone's very small. I'm sorry if this is difficult to read. So. Tap on Add Printer, then scroll down to Add Using Octo Everywhere. This will then bring up Octo Everywhere 
and scroll down to I already have an account and then log into your Octo Everywhere account that you created earlier. And in this case, just the email and password. More sensor bars, even though it's just a, a temporary thing. Uh, as you can see there, I mistyped because you'll see later how tiny my phone is. But what will happen is they will then email you an access code. Find that access code. Type it in on the mobile app. In this case, some more fat fingers or small phone. And once you've done, submit it with access code. And in my case, it whirled around a little bit. It asked me for this and I didn't know, so I just put not now. Um, connect and finish. And this is where it said it wanted to open in another app. I did click open, but it didn't work. So in this case, it whirled around for a bit. And I ended up going back to the app tray, reopening Moonraker for mobile. And here we go, here's the app. So heading on over to my printer, you'll see just how small the phone is. Um, and I press the home button and as you can see, it everything homes itself, all by itself, all from the app. Um, even though it's saying there in the top left of my phone I'm connected by Wi-Fi, I'm not actually connected by Wi-Fi, um, I'm tethered to another mobile device. So that is Rat OS for Clipper. And hopefully that has helped you set up Octo Everywhere for Rat OS or Clipper when your rat rig is using a Raspberry Pi and you can now access it from your mobile anywhere.